Oh man, what a crazy year this has been. Okay, where do we even begin with all of this? You know, Monster X was already involved in a totally separate controversy not one week ago. But that one was responded with an apology, and it even turns out it may have been started by people trying to sabotage their comeback anyway. So we're not even going to touch on that whole misunderstanding. But everything that has gone down in the last, I don't know, three days at this point, it's like an avalanche coming down, getting bigger and crazier as it picks up. Let's try to go through what has transpired here. So the domino that seemed to have tipped over first was a former reality star named Jung Da Eun who posted a photo of Won Ho on TV with the caption basically saying, when are you going to pay me back? Da Eun also commented on the post saying that Won Ho has been avoiding the situation. Now, this personal matter started seeming more than just that when Starship actually put out a response denying any truth to the post. Are you with me so far? Because it's going to escalate and I'm going to have trouble staying with myself. Here we go. In response to Starship's statement, Dion released text messages with Wano's lawyer who reached out after the post trying to clear up the facts. In these texts, it's revealed that they have lived together. Wanho didn't pay the rent, which resulted in loss of the deposit money as well. That Wanho took Dayun's belongings and sold them off, borrowed money and only paid back a part of everything he owed. At this point, we've heard the allegations from one party and the denial from the other. That's when Han So Hee popped into the mix, and for those who don't know, it was revealed earlier this month that Chung Da Eun and Han So Hee were dating. And we know she's not adverse to controversy. So she takes over Da Eun's Twitter, the one accusing Won Ho in the first place, and started revealing Won Ho's past of being sent to a juvenile detention center as a teenager for aggravated theft. And if you thought this couldn't spiral any more out of control, all of a sudden, Starship Entertainment announced that Won Ho would be departing from Monster X and that the group would continue as six. Just dropped on the fans like that. According to their statement, Won Ho didn't want the negative press to affect Monster X, but that they would also be taking legal action against malicious rumors. Fans were devastated in light of this, especially after he left a letter admitting there was a time he was immature in his youth, that he has made small mistakes, he has made big mistakes, but saw that and straightened himself out after becoming a trainee. He apologized for causing fans pain, he thanked the fans, he thanked staff, and he thanked his members. Even after this, Han So Hee continued to reveal things he allegedly did, and even said that if he was leaving, he still needs to pay back that. But those aren't the only things she said. Just when you thought this couldn't get any messier, she posted two stories saying that someone anonymously messaged them, and that this person claims Monster X's Shonu had an affair with his wife. Take a breath. The anonymous man continued saying Starship's legal reps told him Shonu will not get involved, he did not know she was in a relationship of any sort, and they have not contacted since. Han So He deleted these pretty quickly for whatever reason by the way. Obviously Starship had to respond to this. They said the woman never told Shonu she was married, he didn't contact her after he found out, and they will be taking legal action against excessive misunderstandings and speculation. But, oh man. This thing isn't even over yet. Dispatch released an interview with Jung Da Eun where illegal drug use of marijuana is brought up. Dispatch revealed that police are still investigating Wan Ho for this. Again, Starship also responded to these drug allegations by saying he got tested at the airport, but as far as they knew, it was just a regular required test and not an investigation. But with this response, they also revealed that they can no longer maintain an exclusive contract with Won Ho, and that as of November 1st, his contract has been terminated. As I'm recording this, I think that's all that's out there right now. There could be so many other things I'm missing or aspects of it that I'm missing, but come on, there's so much information being thrown left and right. As for Shonu's situation, I honestly don't know what to think about it. I don't know what's true and what's not. I can't just judge the situation prematurely and just spew out opinions. As for Won Ho, several things to touch on. I don't think what he did in the past 
barring if he actually murdered or hurt someone, I don't think that should reflect on the person he is now. It's 2019, he's 26 years old. This was something he did, I think they said when he was 16 or 17, nine years, almost a decade ago. But here's the other thing, he did his time. He faced the consequences of his actions. He saw that he was granted another opportunity in life after becoming a trainee. And there are plenty of examples of who he is now versus back then. We all learn, grow, and change. The money thing, hey, if he owed someone money, he should pay it back. And who knows, the lawyers seem to be reaching out to settle things privately. But I think it was wrong of the other party to air out dirty laundry like that. Because now you're not just trying to get your money back, you're trying to ruin someone's life. And to a certain degree, you succeeded. This is an ugly, ugly situation. Fans are doing whatever they can to get Wonho to come back to Monster X. So many hashtags are trending. There's been a petition started to keep Wonho as part of Monster X, which at the time I'm making this has over 350,000 signatures. But I don't know if it's that simple. Part of it seems to be his choice, and part of it seems to be out of any of our controls as it was Starship's choice who is trying to stay away from all this negative press. Another part of it that may cement this as a way out of our control that negates any petition is the conspiracy that this whole thing is being used as a media cover-up. A cover-up of newly discovered footage from the ferry incident back in 2014 that shows the incompetence that took place that day resulting in the death of a child. But then again, there are good points that have been made as to why this would make no sense and is ridiculous. I know by now, new information has probably popped up. I will definitely be in the comments section for this one. Let's, let's talk about what has come up, what I missed, or just how you feel about all of this. Hang in there, guys. Two months left in 2019. I'll see you in the comments.